Hey, you guys want to see something sexy? Check this out. My friends, this sexy beast is the Velatric Nomad 1. This class two all-terrain bike with 26 inch tires, I think might have just become my new favorite bike. First off, I want to point out how clean these lines are on this bike. Oh, so pretty. The Nomad One comes in four colors, mango, sand, forest, and the version that I have, which is Indio Gray. The Nomad One also has a step-through version in four different colors, mango, cyan, blue, and spring. The bike sells for $1,599 and comes with a ton of features. The rear motor is 750 watts, but it also has a peak power of 1,200 watts. It has a Shimano eight-speed derailleur and thumb shifter, an adjustable front fork suspension with 80 millimeters of travel. It has a 48 volt, 962 watt hour battery that you can unlock from the frame. I love the fact that it's integrated into the frame. I'm always a huge fan of that. It makes the bike look super clean. You can charge it while it's on the bike with this port, or you can take it off and charge it. This is where the battery connects at the very top. So as we know, if we're going through bad weather, the water runs down and it goes right there. This way, no water or messiness is getting into that controller. Smart move, super smart move. I love it. I am a huge fan of hydraulic brakes on an e-bike because when you have those, man, it, it, I bet, I know, I know this bike is gonna stop super smooth. <laughs> I just wanna ride this bike, but I gotta finish going over the features. Quick release seat for easy adjustment. A full, this is a wider type seat, but I think I'm gonna like it. Equipped with a thumb throttle and the type of grips that you can rest your palms on. A nice big LED screen, easy to power on. Just hit the power button. You can use the plus models. You have five different pedal assist modes, as you can see right there. You can bounce from odometer, miles per hour, what the max is, your time, has all the features. An integrated headlight that can be turned on by just holding down the plus symbol and a battery operated rear light for nighttime riding. The step over model weighs 73 pounds and the step through weighs 72 pounds. Both bikes can handle a maximum load of 440 pounds. This has a range of 55 miles using pedal assist and 52 miles just using the throttle. We're gonna be testing that out in a future video. We're gonna go ahead and take this bad boy out. <laughs> I'm excited about this part. Let's go downtown Chicago to Lakeshore Drive, give her a try, go over the features, see how she rides, see what the different pedal assist and how things like that work. And then I'll give you my final thoughts. Let's get out of here. Let's go ride. So I'm riding this bike and the first thing I notice is how super solid it is. Wow. Uh, the grips feel great. Yeah, I'm just very, this bike is so solid. It just feels tight everywhere, which is awesome. Let's try this bell here, see how this works. Let people know we're coming through. Come, whoa, watch out buddy. All right. We are going to go ahead and start our speed test. What a beautiful day here in Chicago. So, I mean, this is a great day to bike ride and also a great day to figure out the speeds on this thing. So we are in pedal assist level one. And give that a shot and see how fast we go. You can use the throttle to take off with here and get going. I am in uh, eighth gear. 
And so right now, if you're in pedal assist one, the fastest you can go is about 10 miles an hour. All right, let's see what pedal assist two does for us. And there, actually, let me kick it down a gear. So make it easier to pedal. There we go. All right, pedal assist level two, get you about 13 miles an hour. Let's go to level three. Level three, we're doing 15, a little bit over 15 miles an hour in uh, pedal assist level three. Level four. Oops. Here we go. Pedal assist level, or pedal assist level four, doing 17 miles an hour. Pedal assist level, oh, there we go. You feel that puppy kick in. And now we are cruising at 20 miles an hour. As predicted, these hydraulic brakes feel excellent. All right, so let's go ahead and see how well this bike does coming up some hills. So we have some hills coming up here. And then pedal assist four. Went up no problem. Kick it up to pedal assist five. All right, we're holding at 19 miles an hour. Oh. We are up to 20 going up this hill. I'm putting very little effort in. I believe we have another one coming up here. Okay, we have another good size hill. This is normally the one that uh, we're doing 20 miles an hour as we hit it. Oh, yeah, butter. Butter. Oh my gosh. Brakes work excellent. Look at this view, guys. When it comes to these e-bikes, I mean, it really is all about the experience and how much you like it. And I can tell you one thing, feeling just how solid this bike is, how great it brakes, how quick it takes off. The, the, the thumb throttle, right when you push it, it goes. Same thing with you get like a half a crank on the, on the pedals and you can feel the pedal assist kick in. I mean, it's pretty, uh, this bike is pretty spot on. I stopped here to take a quick break and Arthur saw this bike and checked it out. And what do you think of it? Beautiful, probably the coolest looking, stealthy, electric bike I've ever seen and I'm up and down this bike path four times a week and uh, it's beautiful. There you go. That's the first time I've seen it. I told you this bike was beautiful. We have just got back from my from that ride and you saw we pointed out some of the features and stuff but overall man i love this bike i think this might have just become my favorite bike and that brings me much joy i mean I, just something about the way it looks i know i keep going over it but man if you don't love how a bike looks why do you have it we all know how this thing performs now so i would say that if you're looking for like an all-terrain type bike that you can cruise around on. This is a great one for it. And at that price point of $15.99, that also makes it a great value. So go ahead, I have a link down in the description that'll take you to the product. You can take a look at the step-overs, the step-throughs, 
And man, thank you Velatrek for coming up with a great with a great bike and I am so looking forward to doing additional videos with this and uh, letting my friends check it out as well. So that is it. I hope you enjoy this video. I hope you get a chance to experience one of these bikes. <sighs> Until I see you next time, enjoy the ride.